Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And uh, fall is right here upon us. We're rolling into uh, a heavy football season and soccer. And so uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, kids, even adults, that come into us after they've had some sort of blow to the head, some sort of po possibly a concussion. Now, the thing that's important to note is that uh, if you take a blow to the head that is strong enough to create a concussion, then there's a very, very good likelihood that there's a much bigger problem actually below the brain, which is in the upper part of the neck. So think about this. A concussion, what happens is, is there's a blow to the head that's strong enough that the brain actually slams into the skull and actually bruises the brain itself. Well, if there's enough force to sling that brain back and forth, you can imagine Here's the, this is the neck. If there's that kind of force, you can imagine what that would do to the position of the bones underneath it. We have a 10 to 12 pound head sitting on top of a bone that weighs about three ounces. So if that type of blow to the head is enough to bruise the brain, it's more than likely going to reposition some of the bones in the top of the neck. This is very important because post-concussion syndrome, most of the time, the brain is healed. But now they're still having symptoms. They're having headaches, maybe sometimes dizziness, sometimes uh, foggy headedness, can't concentrate, uh, potentially uh, neck pain, uh, uh, severe headaches uh, is usually the biggest symptom. But what's happening is, is there's something most frequently underneath that has interfered with the brain stem, the lower part of the brain, comes down into the uh, top two bones of the neck. It's interfering with uh, blood flow, cerebrospinal flow, uh, even how the brain uh, works itself. So if you have ever had a concussion and you still have post-concussion syndrome, you still have symptoms lingering as a result, then it only makes sense to just get this part of the area, this part of your neck checked out because most of the time what we have found is they have a severe misalignment here that would happen at the same time as the injury, and but they lump it into, oh, it's, it's still the brain healing. Well, it's not because usually within two to three months, most of those concussion symptoms have cleared up. If you're having lingering symptoms as a result, there's a very good likelihood there's a problem at the top of your neck that has created it. Um, if you have ever had any kind of blow to the head or any kind of concussion, uh, it's always a good idea to get that area checked. If you have a child that may have had an injury, uh, then uh, always follow up with an upper cervical doctor just to double check to see if there's a problem there. If there's not, hey, great, we ruled it out. If there is, if left uncorrected over time, can create bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger problems throughout the entire spine, the entire body as a result. So if you live uh, in the Charlotte area, we're the Upper Cervical Doctor Few, the Upper Cervical Spine Center. We're conveniently located between 77 and 45 on Arrowwood. Uh, our office number is 704-588-5560. We never charge for the initial consultation to find out what your needs are. If it's something we think we can help you with, we'll explain you what we need to do. If it's not something we think we can help you with, then we promise we will find another specialist that we believe can help you. So try to find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you're not in the Charlotte, Pineville, Matthews, uh, Ballantyne, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, Huntersville, Cornelius, Gastonia, Belmont, Google it. Try to find someone else. Try to find someone in your area that you think uh, uh, can do the upper cervical work and uh, try to find, if you can't find one, call our office. We'll do our best to try to locate a doctor for you. So I hope this makes sense. Get that upper cervical area collect. Uh, checked. <laughs> Let's keep your head on straight. Hope you have a great afternoon. Share this video if it makes sense to you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.